Okay, I'm going to make a short video on uh, modifying a DC coupler for, I think this is for the Mark, uh, the, the EOS 1DS, um, Mark 1, maybe the Mark 2. I know, I know it's the 1DS um, the DC coupler. Uh, I'm using this on an EOS 1V. This is a film camera. Um, there is no um, AC coupler, DC coupler on the market for this, either third party or from the manufacturer Canon. So um, the reason I chose to do that, uh, use that particular coupler, is because it's the same battery that works in um, in that that I'm using for the EOS 1V. You can see um, it's probably uh, fairly common knowledge that you can take the um, the this little part off of the um, the NP dash E2 battery and um, put that right onto the NP dash E3 battery, slide that into the camera, it works. Um, there's some videos out there on YouTube and there's some, some folks that talk about how that works. Um, but but that's, what I, that's what I've been doing um, to, for, to power my, my film camera, my US 1V. Um, and um, I decided I wanted to, I wanted to do some more um, more stuff with this camera that um, you know I want to do some longer exposures maybe some astrophotography um, or just just plain old power it without uh, you know without the battery um, so how do I go about doing that um, was my question and and so I decided to look into getting this um, this DC coupler and I did I purchased the DC coupler and um, you can see it's actually in there now I'll show you it works uh, real quick so um, it turns the camera on and um, you know, and I can do um, I guess that's like a f eight second exposure that's fine there's no film in the camera so I don't, I don't really care too much about that you can see it shows full battery power it looks like it has all the features I don't see any problems with this I haven't tested this thoroughly and if you uh, if you decide to make this modification I would recommend that you um, you do so wisely and with uh, with a good deal of caution because it may um, you know it's not supported by Canon. I don't know anybody else that's tested this. I haven't I looked around on the internet and I haven't seen anybody else test this. So I'm not an electronics expert or a camera expert or a DC coupler expert or any anything like that. But um, this works and it works pretty well. Um, the specs on this are about exactly the same as what the battery is. Um, this is the DC coupler in here and all I did to modify it you can see here on the bottom um, there's there's actually some little notches in here and I have a picture of this I can post um, a photo of that separately from the video but uh, there's some notches in there that need uh, need drilled out I guess you can use a Dremel which is what a Dremel tool which is what I did um, just be patient and go slow and you just try not to make any mistakes. This part isn't very expensive. It's about fifteen dollars. So, um, and they seem to be readily available in the used market, which is where I got mine. I think this was about fourteen bucks um, with shipping. Um, shipping was included for in that for, for off of eBay. And then um, this is uh, this is the same exact part um, that comes on the battery right here, except that uh, I had to modify this. I, you have to put. You have to put a hole in this thing so you can put your DC coupler in there. So I put a hole in it, um, and you also have to drill out um, these these pegs. You don't have to take them all the way down to the bottom, um, but I would recommend, well, the one that you put the hole in, the side that you put the hole in, which is going to be, if you're looking at it this way, it's the right side. If you flip it over, it's the left side now here. So you're going to have to drill this side out all the way and then um, and then put your hole in there, and your hole goes up just above this um, it's the same center line um, vertically but uh, and uh, but uh, it's it's just a little bit up vertically from this um, from this hole here um, center wise so I made a little mistake and I actually uh, had to oval that hole out because of that so um, but you it's not you know this is not a huge deal I mean these parts are not um, these parts are pretty readily available, although the, the battery magazine where you would get this adapter is about $40. Um, and I don't know if maybe Canon sells these parts separately that you can buy a couple of these, or maybe you can 3D print something. 
Um, it does have a little metal knob in there, and I don't know, um, I don't know about making that knob or maybe making something uh, an adapter for it. I, I think it's probably just easiest just to buy this part um, and just be careful with it and modify one or two of them that you like. Um, I probably fix this at some point, uh, make it a little bit neater and r more refined, but. Um, this thing is working, so um, the specs on this, let me go over the specs real quick and show you what the specs are on this battery. Um, the NPE3 battery is um, spec'd out at 12 volts, and um, it's 1650 milliamps is the typical, and the minimum is 1400 milliamp uh, hours. So, <clears throat> I actually measured the DC coupler. Now, I don't, I don't know if I can measure the um, milliamp hours on this uh, uh, since I don't really have a load on it. I don't know if that's going to make a lot of sense to measure. But I did measure um, the voltages on this when I plugged it in, and it measures right about, um, right about 13 volts is what comes out of this thing. Now, <clears throat> this is rated for 12 volts, um, so you're probably thinking, oh, this should come out at 12 volts. No, batteries actually put out a lot more voltage but maybe maybe even 10 percent or more a little bit more than 10 percent voltage more than than this um, this actually came out close to almost 14 volts um, out of this battery when it's fully charged so um, you know it's uh, that's just the way it works um, so as long as you don't have something that's you know uh, I, I figured as long as I didn't have something that was hugely different, like if it was putting out like 25 volts or something, I'd be like, nah, that's probably not a good idea. But uh, I figured it was probably close enough, and so I plugged it in the camera, and it seems to work. Um, I haven't tested it with a roll of film or anything, but uh, this is the um, this is the DC uh, the AC adapter part that I'm using. It's um, AC adapter K30120. You can see there, it's a um, it's a, it, oh, it even says it's 13 volts on this. Um, so that's, uh, that's what it's putting out is 13 volts and 1.8 amps. So this is, um, very close to what this battery is. And this battery is what works in the EOS 1V and it has for a long time. And the specs for this battery, the NPE3 are very similar to NPE2. So the, the battery specs work, the DC coupler works. Um, you do have to make some modifications to it, some physical modifications, both to the, the this end and this door. And, and once you do that, um, you plug it in and it, and it works. Um, so that's my video. So thanks for watching. If you have uh, questions, post them down below and uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye-bye.